Six cousins came together to fulfill their dreams of becoming entrepreneurs. They were inspired by their grandmother and now businesswomen of their own female-led Latina empire. Joining us are the founders of the clothing company, Angels Playhouse. We have Karen, Kristen, Victoria, Nayeli, Ziomara, and Cassandra. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. We're thrilled to have you on, and I wanted to ask, what sparked the idea to create your own clothing company? It was actually my idea. Um, it was in the beginning of the pandemic. I realized everything was, you know, um, closing and going online. And I always wanted to start my own boutique. So I asked my cousins if they would join me, and here we are. Oh, wow. And how is it working with your family? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it's difficult, a little stressful sometimes, yeah. having six different uh, opinions. Yeah, so and I, different. definitely. Yeah. And I think just with the business in general, you're going to have those ups and downs, but it's great at the end of the day that you're doing it with your family. And tell us about the type of clothing you have at Angel's Playhouse. What can people expect when shopping? Um, we all kind of have a different style. Um, we all have different body shapes. Um, we're all different sizes. so. Uh, we kind of like to have a little bit of everything. We have workout sets, we have dresses to go out, um, you know, to a party, or we have dinner sets, um, two-piece sets, rompers, uh, jeans, um, yeah, accessories, sunglasses, and we are actually hoping to bring in a plus-size collection soon. Um, so that's definitely one of the things that we are in the works in. Okay. And we are actually all <laughs> I like it. A lot of different stuff to style with, including accessories. I like some of that athletic wear that you had. So what does a typical day look like for six women entrepreneurs? We so, have a couple different things. Yeah. So. Yeah. so there is like content days that usually takes about two to three days to really finalize. Our first day is usually like planning outfits, hairstyles, you know, for every model because everyone's different. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's usually what happens the first day. Second day is like shooting um, all day. And third is, you know, finding, like finishing up the photos and then sending them over to our um, Instagram manager and she like takes care of all the content. Yeah, yeah we actually have a two week cycle also that we like to do. Um, we try to do it every month. Um, it's kind of our system that we have in place right now until we figure something else that works for us. But we get our clothes, um, we brand it, we have photo shoots uh, for the website, uploading the website, fixing our website, um, and then just launching new clothes every month. Yeah, well, it sounds like you ladies are very busy. And we kind of mentioned it a little bit, the ups and downs of working in a business. Have you dealt with any hardships of owning a business? And if so, how do you overcome those obstacles? Um, yeah, I think one of the main hardships that we have faced um, is when we started, we didn't do enough research. Uh, we didn't really have a lot of resources. I guess they were there, we just didn't even find them. Um, so we just kind of started and just took it and ran with it. We didn't really know what we were doing. Um, we figured it out as we went along, and I think that was one of the hardest things. But we've learned so much. We started in 2020, we're two years in, and we have grown a lot, we've changed a lot, um, we have gone through a bunch of different systems, a lot of different people, a lot of different managers, um, so yeah, it's a learning experience for sure. Yeah, definitely a learning experience, and it's Women's History Month, and for our aspiring female entrepreneurs, I wanted to ask, what piece of advice would you give to those women who want to start their own business like you ladies have successfully done? Just do it. You get, yeah. Just do it. it. Yeah. As, like we said, we learn as we go. There's no right way to do it. Just get started. I like that you said that. There's no right way to do it and get started. And what's next for all of you? Is there any upcoming projects you can tell us about that we can expect from Angel's Playhouse? Um, we have a couple things. Um, one of our uh, more exciting things, I guess I should say, is this summer we want to start um, pop-ups. We want to be able to host an Angel's Playhouse pop-up where we get uh, women small business owners, and we invite them to come and interact with the community, um, network, and overall just support each other, um, especially, you know, during the summertime outside, why not? 
Um, I don't want to cut you ladies off, but we're running out of time, so I want to let our viewers know where they can go for more info. You can visit angelsplayhouse.com.